Does intermittent fasting cause cardiovascular disease? Not so fast. Keep watching to learn more. The American Heart Association released a research report on intermittent fasting that drew in the headlines last week. You may have seen headlines like these. The intermittent fasting trend may pose risks to your heart. Intermittent fasting could be fatal. Diet trend linked to higher risk of this deadly condition. Intermittent fasting linked to higher risks of cardiovascular death, research suggests. Or intermittent fasting linked to higher risk of heart-related death in new study. The headline of the report was actually this. Eight-hour time-restricted eating, aka intermittent fasting, is linked to a 91% higher risk of cardiovascular death. This certainly caused a bit of a media frenzy, immediately throwing intermittent fasting under the bus with some headlines saying that intermittent fasting can be fatal. Whoa. Let's pause here. I want to share the details on this study and not the sensational headlines so that you are informed and not intimidated. Before I get into the research, let me start by first explaining what intermittent fasting is for those of you who may be unsure. Intermittent fasting is an eating plan that focuses on when you eat, choosing regular times to eat and regular times to fast. Within intermittent fasting, there are different windows that people generally follow, although it can be any window of time that you choose. A common pattern is called 16 to 8, meaning that you are fasting for 16 hours and then you would have an 8-hour window for eating. And there are many other approaches to intermittent fasting, but I'm not gonna get into that in this video. The research in question specifically speaks to that 16 to eight approach, so that's where I'm gonna keep my focus for now. And also know that we are all technically fasting while we're sleeping, so these eating plans tend to stretch that window a bit more. Intermittent fasting became popular in recent years, and there have been short-term studies on intermittent fasting that showed some health benefits related to weight management and improvements in blood sugar. Now that we know what intermittent fasting is, let's get into this new American Heart Association study. The study was an observational study, and that's key. This means that in this case, the researchers used data that was already collected, and then they observed that data for the effect of a risk factor, cardiovascular death. For this study, they used data from the National Health and Nutrition Examination Survey, which is also called NHANES, from 2003 to 2018, and they surveyed over 20,000 adults. Then they compared that to data about people who have died in the U.S. from the Center for Disease and Control Prevention's National Death Index database. Researchers' actual hypothesis was that intermittent fasting, or as they called it, eight-hour time-restricted eating, was associated with a lower risk of all-cause and cause-specific mortality. In fact, they noted that they were surprised by the outcome that their hypothesis was not correct and that time-restricted eating was linked to cardiovascular disease deaths since short-term research on intermittent fasting has shown some health benefits. Diving into the study a little bit more, let's talk about limitations. All studies and all research have limitation. For this studies, one of the biggest is that N. Haynes relies on self-reported dietary information, meaning that people report themselves what they eat and that doesn't always accurately represent people's eating patterns. What I mean by this is people are known to embellish or fib or lie a little bit about what they eat, especially when they have to write it down or put it in the computer. I know this because as an RD, generally getting to know what people eat can be like peeling back the layers of an onion. We have this innate fear of judgment even related to food. Another limitation is that the researchers use just two days of dietary intakes to review the people who followed that eight hour time restricted eating. Ideally, we would have more days to review. So while NHANES is an incredible tool and helpful data, there are some limitations when using it. Another important factor and limitation to consider is that diet quality, or as the researchers put it, nutrient quality, were not evaluated in this study. Meaning what do we know about what these people were actually eating? Are there patterns related to specific foods or nutrients? Was it all fast food? Was it all organic? Was it all ultra processed? At this point, we do not know, but having that data can help us pinpoint more about the correlation between intermittent fasting and cardiovascular disease death. 
And as researcher Christopher Gardner stated, without this information, it cannot be determined if nutrient density might be an alternate explanation to the findings that currently focus on that window of time for eating. Finally, other factors and characteristics need to be compared to dive into this further. Such as, did this group have similar weights? Do they have similar stress levels or other health issues? What other patterns are there that we can discern from this data that might explain this correlation? So does intermittent fasting cause cardiovascular death? The study does not tell us that intermittent fasting directly causes death from cardiovascular events. What they found was an association or a link. This observational study does tell us that we need more research on this topic further exploring this connection between intermittent fasting and cardiovascular events. Another researcher on this project said that although the study identified an association between eight-hour eating window and cardiovascular death, this does not mean that time-restricted eating caused cardiovascular death. So the moral of this story is this just gave us an association and it sort of opens the door to say we need more research on this topic to identify why that association happened. Stay tuned as more research comes out on intermittent fasting and cardiovascular death, and I will be sure to share the facts, not just sensational headlines. Thanks so much for watching. Hit that like button and give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, and subscribe to join in to be notified when we release new nutrition tip videos like this one and recipes. And I will see you in the next video. Until then, eat well, be well, thrive.